Yeah. I, so I'll, I'll tell you, we were doing a missions trip in the Bahamas. Okay. So it was a, it was a good group. And uh, the dumpster fire was my fault, uh, which is even more fun. Um, That's good leadership, right? Yes, that is. Uh, so, uh, so funny enough, we were, we were actually doing ministry work in the brush, like out in the brush in this small marginalized community in, uh, in the Bahamas. And so you're, you're literally walking on pathways into the forest and there's these little huts, um, these pier and beam huts, and they were terminally ill patients that really so no nothing way. nothing contagious but things that they were like hey they're they're going to die yeah they have no family they're going to be just cast out and so we were serving this community and uh and so i had um i had rushed through breakfast that morning and i grabbed a hard-boiled egg from the hotel because i just that was all the time i had and i ate it and i felt hey that was a little weird <laughs> and uh you can see where this is going and so sure enough, we're out and we're with a group and, and I made it to lunch and we had pizza delivered for lunch and we were, we were doing construction work and, and working with, the, the, you know, just loving on the community. And I, just, I took a bite of pizza and I just, my body said, nope, no, we don't, we don't like this. And I spent the next four hours jumping over walls and hiding in the brush because no I was just way. sick, so sick. And the group didn't know. And so I was, and they kept asking me like, like, Mike, where, where'd you go? You keep disappearing. And I just had a big smile. And I was like, yeah, just checking on everybody. And they just, they started looking at me odd. And, um, and so, uh, cause they just, and this guy just keeps disappearing. And I'm literally just sick as a dog in the forest, like in the overgrown brush of the Bahamas until finally I made it to, to when the bus came and picked us back up. And I was just like in the bus ride. It was a 30 minute bus ride back. And I'm just praying. I'm like, let Lord, let me make this <laughs> back to the hotel. Um, and so we, we, they were asking me questions and I probably ignored five or six questions from the group because I was just focusing on, on not being sick in the bus. And how long did it last? Uh, like, like, like the rest of the day, like days. So, days? so it, uh, so I finally got back to the hotel and it just it just wrecked me. And luckily, yeah. we had another group there. So I told the other tour guide, I said, "Hey, you've got to take my group out to dinner tonight. I'm done. Tell them I'm sick." Yeah. It lasted through the night, oh, and I uh, so I lost 12 pounds. I was just gonna say yeah. in the course of a night, <laughs> and I just I called my wife at like 10 o'clock at night. I said, "Babe, you've got to pray for me. I am I am just I'm wrecked." And um, and we had a boat ride the next morning because we were doing a fun activity. So I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And and sure enough, I woke up the next morning and I was okay. I wasn't better, but I was okay. Right. And, stable. Um, yeah, so it was stable. So I made it on the boat ride, <laughs> but it was, oh, it was, uh, and the group just made a big joke out of it because they were trying to figure out what was going on. They thought I was being flaky. And, uh, and sure enough, I came back that evening and the bus company, um, the owner of the bus company who I'd, I'd had, they'd give me a check to pay him. Yeah. He's there. And so the whole group gets back. I'm just, I'm praising the Lord that I finally made it through the day of snorkeling and just, you know, I was on the back end of it. And, and sure enough, uh, I, so I had a check for him. And he's waiting for me at the hotel. So I got the group in. I said, hey, go. We'll get ready for dinner. And he, uh, he says, hey, just wanted to meet with you. Um, and I said, great. Here's your, here's your check for the, you know, the remainder of the balance. And, uh, and so he proceeds to start shaking me down for more money. And, and so I was like, this couldn't get any better um, <laughs> on this trip. And the group leader for the school, she just, uh, she was the head of school. She looked at me. Uh, and I said, yep, I got all this. Go ahead and take a seat and you know, go get ready. So she sits off in the corner and just proceeds to have to to kind of review our robust dialogue that this, the owner of the bus company and I are having. Cause he's like, Hey, you're in management. I need you to pay me more money. And so, uh, went back and forth. Ultimately he left with no extra money. And, uh, <laughs> and it was just so funny. I was like, this, this trip does not get any better. Cause I'm still tired. You know, I, I, it was a long your day. Nerves are on edge. Yeah. They are. It was everything I could do not to just unload. <laughs> um, it was probably just a lack of energy from not. Mm. And, uh, and so the group leader comes up to me, and she's like, hey, I can tell a, a rough conversation when I see it. Is everything okay? And I said, nothing you have to worry about. I was like, this is why you use a company like us. Uh -huh. And uh, But it was just the funniest start, just set of events of just like, what else could go wrong yep. on this trip? And uh, so we got to dinner that night and we ended up, they dropped us off. The bus drop com company left. And we finished dinner within like 45 minutes. And we had like 50 people. And I, I had scheduled Whoa. an hour and a half. So I'm trying to call the bus company. And I couldn't get a hold of them. And it was after hours. So it was the last night of the trip. It had already been all this tumultuous up and down. And so I'm trying to call the, the, the dispatch. They're closed for the night. I try to call the owner. He doesn't answer. I try to call the bus driver. He doesn't answer. So we're, literally we sat at the last night of, the, of what I thought was still a pretty great trip. Um, we're sitting there for about 45 minutes. And it just becomes this joke with the group um, because they're like, 
Oh, you know, Mike, what else are we going to do? And I'm like, well, we're just going to sit here and, and enjoy as you guys ate really fast. Um, it was great food. They had a buffet set out. So they did it all really well. But it was just I, it was just one of those things that nothing went the way they expected mm-hmm. it to go. Yep. And, uh, and and we still laugh about it. And, and they went back to the Bahamas the next year. And I was their tour guide again. And none of those things happened. I was just going to um, say. But we still, the group leader and I have be, became good friends through that process. And we still laugh about that whole trip. Just, <laughs> man, nothing went the way you expected it to go. 